Hello everyone. Now that you're at least aware of how the unit circle works in terms of this over that times that equals that or basically sine, cosine, tangent, arctangent, secant, cosecant, that type of thing. I've laid out for you in a program called Geometer Sketchpad a way to kind of look at, investigate, and truth, what you know or suspect is true from survey, that is the small angle approximations. And so what I've laid out here is not a unit circle, but if you look at this is not the slope, but the length of CA. I'm going to push this, make this go forward a little bit here. I grab this point. I have laid out an animated circle using something called parametric design. So I'm going to stop that right there. And you see that the circle is 10 in length. CD measures the sine. In all reality, it's DC, which you'd really want to think about. And AD remembers the cos, calculates the cosine. And CE, the tangent, and these are all the geometric things, not the calculations. You know that CD divided by AD times AC equals CE. You know that sine over cosine times the hypotenuse equals the tangent, or just sine over cosine on a unit circle. This is a 10 unit circle, if you look at right here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to test the small angle approximation by watching down in the small angles how the radians, the length of CD, and the length of CE approximate each other and make a call there at two places what we will call a small angle. Again, you've done that in survey, so I'm going to push this forward here. I'm going to slow it down a little bit, and we'll investigate in the very small angles. This is a program called Geometer Sketchpad. It's $10 for a one-year license, $30 for a perpetual license, and that allows three seats. It's got a little bit of a learning curve to it, but not that bad for those who are interested. You can do the same thing in parametrics in AutoCAD, but the animation is not quite as easy to do. To bring down the speed here and let that come down to where we're coming. So right now you see as it goes through there, right around here things start to look about the same. I'm going to stop it just on the other side. Right there we've got 0.07 radians and if you divide CE and CD by 10 you've got 0.07. This number of radians here is listed to just 2 places and these are listed just the two places so they are the same we're gonna go ahead stop it there right around there they start to diverge we're at 0.25 radians I can actually change and reverse that I'm gonna bring it back pause it right there you're now flipping on the other side so it goes a little odd I'm gonna turn it on flip it back flip it back flip it back Flip it back, flip it back, stop it right there. At 0.12 radians, which is a little bit more than 5 degrees, you see again the approximation looking pretty good here. AD being the cosine, we'll check that out, I'm sorry, is the cosine. You see that swings away a little bit more. So that approximation is not as good as that for the small angle approximation. So once again, if you measure in radians, a radian being defined as the ratio of the arc length to the radius, a radian having two pi of themselves inside a circle at small angles, the tangent and the sine are equal to the angle. And in this depiction, you can see effectively what happens to the tangent out there at that theoretical infinity or I'm sorry 90 degrees we'll flip it again in a second here you see it's going to one direction now to the other it's getting longer and longer you know these things and you start to learn calculations you want to learn to visualize this it, basically this is a linkage if you want to learn the word, this is something kind of like a linkage. I'm going to stop it right there. Continue. Stop it there. You're getting close to that 
ratio of one to one. Stop it there. You're getting close to that ratio of 60 degrees. Stop it there. You're getting awfully close to that ratio of at 90 degrees. You see that bit there. I'm going to stop it again. This time I'm going to stop it and see how long this calculation will take us. See how close we can get to 90 degrees. Remember that this is basically what trigonometry is. It is not just the triangle. It's the triangle changing within the circle. You learn the unit circle, so you have some checks on the software that does pretty neat stuff for 10 bucks. You also start to realize how one thing begets the other, how the derivative is, and then the integrals affect each other, how sine is related to cosine and cosine is related to sine and tangent is related to both. I'm slowing it down here. I'm going to stop it as close as I can when that thing starts to really head off to Ooh, it already flipped back. If you notice there, it flipped back. So you can get this. It, it does head off to infinity. We'll look at that. Thanks for listening.